Inside the fifth row, it's the Bendigo 46 of Robert Carl Cohen, who is a no-show in the field. So on his outside is Jonathan Knight in the Bendigo 22. Rounding out the field is Andrew Blackwell in the N7. We're green. Todd Atkins, a good charge early around the top. Through one and two they run, and it's Atkins leading off the corner. Car's going to go around. It's Nicolaisen. Got caught up with Watts and McCarthy. And Nicol Eisen had nowhere to go and was helped around from the inside quarter corner. Blackwell, uh, the uh, Jonathan Knight, I think it was Carr. Give Blackwell a, a fair whack to and turn him yeah, around. Yeah, absolutely. So Blackwell had almost unscathed that whole thing. And as you mentioned, Jonathan Knight coming through had nowhere to go and cars were stacked three abreast across the racetrack and that's all she wrote so as does andrew blackwell in the n7 so lights are out and we're going to go green nice and early and get this one in the books it's wade mccarthy and todd atkins your front row not as dominating a start for atkins this time pins it to the top side again Three lanes wide, further back in the field as well. Fitzpatrick, West, Watts. Side by side, your leaders run through three and four for the first time this race. Todd Atkins comes out on top of the main straight. Seven laps left to run. Look at him go to the top. Most of the cars running through the middle and bottom side of the racetrack, but Atkins goes straight to the boards and locks it down nice and low again. Bit of a push in the front end. And it's let McCarthy gain a heap of ground. So the battle on for the lead. McCarthy's been thereabouts all night long, hammering away at the bottom side of the racetrack. And we're going to go yellow with Jonathan Knight, bringing on the caution in turn four, getting the Bendigo 22 around the wrong way. On the it's going to lead the restart from Wade McCarthy, Russell Felsavari and Calvin Watts. Seven laps remain here in heat 3A. It's been a tolling heat race already. Blackwell and Nicol Eisen both in field. Carl Cohen didn't even start the battle in the Bendigo 46. Lockie Fitzpatrick finds the wall. That was a quick pass by Westy across the bottom, wasn't it? Atkins leads from McCarthy in the 66. Felsavari on the bottom in the end 13. Cockerell slides by Watts. That's a good battle for position four and five. Fitzpatrick brings it to the infield. Looks like a right rear on that car. Doesn't look good at all. It could even be the rear end of that car. So keep our eye on the GV11 as it goes infield. McCarthy starting to make ground on the top side of Atkins. It's a big battle coming up. Atkins needs as many points as he can gather, as does Wade McCarthy throwing everything at the young kid out in front. It's Todd Atkins in the HA 36, back to Wade McCarthy in the Mildura 66. Side by side up the back straight, nothing in it. Felsavari, half a straightaway's distance back to him. Huge tip in by Wade McCarthy. That car looks good, doesn't it? Battle on big time for positions four, five and six. At separate ends of the racetrack, we're side by side for the race lead. And then we're back with Cockerell, Watts and West for position four, five and six. Atkins has got the right hand corner panel hanging off the car and he's still hanging on. White flag next time. Down the back straight for the second last time. McCarthy with a heap of speed. Wade McCarthy is very, very good on the final lap of heat races. We've seen him do it time and time again, especially locally at Timmer Speedway in Mildura, where he sits the whole race in second and sees the white flag and he just kicks it up another gear. But it looks like at the moment, Todd Atkins will be just too good. Off the front row, 
Put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. Heat 3A goes to Todd Atkins in the HA 36. Wade McCarthy through for second. Russell Felsavari in third. Nick Cockerell in four. Graham West in five. Jonathan Knight makes up the field in six. DNF's going to Harley Nicolaisen, Andrew Blackwell, and young Lockie Fitzpatrick. And Cal Calvin Watts as well, late race. On the last corner, headed into three. Brings the car into the fence. 